Ah, oh, gee whiz, fellas, I tell ya, I've heard a lot about this new fancy Cuphead game. Apparently, it's harder than explaining golf to my wife. Ha 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 ha! She doesn't love me anymore. Here we fucking go, guys. Today we have Cuphead, the 2D run and gun get killed by a fucking balloon game that's taken the internet by storm and taken me by hostage. Now, I am a big fan of Cuphead. From the gorgeous art style to the jamming music to the gameplay that makes me question my sanity, you know, it's a good time. So let's start with the story. Naturally, the game stars Cuphead and his brother Mugman, or should I say Mugger Man? <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't do that again. One day they wander off and find themselves at a casino where they go on a winning streak at craps, but then the devil himself shows up and offers a deal. He says if they can win one more roll, they get all the loot in the casino, but if they lose, the devil gets their souls. Of course they lose, but because he's such a nice guy, he doesn't take the boy's souls, he just sends them to collect the souls of his other debtors instead. Just a, a heart of gold on that one. So the boys have to go out and battle many different colorful characters, and by battle I mean die a bunch until you figure out all their attack patterns and then die a little bit more for good measure. Yeah, as I'm sure you've realized by now, Cuphead is a tough game. Most of the time you're fighting super tricky bosses who shoot out a bajillion projectiles and if you don't dodge all of them you'll never get a good grade and achieve true happiness, idiot. It can all feel a bit much at times, so because I care about you guys, I've decided to sprinkle in a few spicy tips in this video to help you along. For example, Spicy tip number one, you can buy new weapons from the shop and some weapons are better for certain bosses, so don't be afraid to experiment, you know, try new things, and if it doesn't work out, just blame whoever told you to do it. Oh wait, no. But in all seriousness, the bosses are actually a lot of fun. Yes, there are a few that can feel a bit too frustrating at times. For example, fuck you, fuck you, fuck everything about you. But in all honesty, some of these guys are legitimately some of the most inventive and creative bosses I've ever seen in video games. It just felt like a treat every time I found a new one. And I always looked forward to those first couple of seconds where I see it and have just enough time to wonder what it does before it, well, before that. Plus, it's pretty damn rare to find a game that has triple the amount of boss battles than it does regular levels. I mean, don't get me wrong, the levels are a lot of fun too. They're very Mega Man-esque, or should I say Mega Man- Fuck, I, I said I wouldn't do that again. But personally, I thought the boss battles were the highlights of the game, which is why I'm glad there were so many of them. Plus, you can always play the game co-op with a friend playing as Mug Man even though I played the whole game on my own and the NPCs still talk to me like I had a friend with me. Thank you for reminding me I'm lonely, you fucking turtle. Oh, and also spicy tip number two, if you encounter an especially hard boss that you feel like you'll never be able to beat no matter what, don't worry, that's perfectly natural. All it means is that your parents never really loved you. Now moving on to the thing that everyone has already talked about and you're probably sick of hearing about and is already obvious just by looking at the game, the art style. As you can see, Cuphead's style is very very heavily inspired by cartoons from the 1930s, and I gotta say, they fucking nailed it. The great character design, the busy detailed backgrounds, the amazing bouncy animations, it's all absolutely spot on, and it's very clear how much time and effort went into making this game look like it does. Like seriously, read any article or watch any video about the animation process for Cuphead and you'll see just how much work went into this shit. Studio MDHR, I applaud you. Just not on your name, because I, I don't know what it means. I really love how this game genuinely feels like it's from the 1930s, not just in the art style, but in the goddamn jazziest soundtrack ever made. Every single boss has their own song, and every single one is as groovy as the last, which is good, because the amount of times you have to listen to them when you're dying over and over again, they fucking better be. But really, these songs add a lot to the game. They inject so much energy and intensity into the bosses and levels, plus they're just generally well-made and catchy songs, like Ink Well Hell. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, it gives me feelings. It, uh, check it out, check it out. Blah, 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 blah. I could die so happily right now. Bottom line is, Cuphead is a very special game. At the beginning, I was sold on the art style alone, but this is way more than just a pretty face. Don't go thinking I'm some sort of brain-dead fanboy who can't give criticism, though. Like every game, Cuphead isn't perfect. Personally, I could do without the attacks and projectiles that have absolutely no indication or warning, and you would have no idea they were coming unless you got hit by them before- Oh, fuck! You. But I think Cuphead is very impressive, and as long 
as you don't mind a challenge, it's definitely worth a look. Which reminds me, spicy tip number three, don't change the difficulty down to simple, because if the developers find out you did that, they come to your house and beat you with your own cutlery. I mean, it's an honour to meet them and all, but... You know, it still hurts. Cuphead, a great reminder of how fantastic the 1930s were. I mean, apart from all the horrible racism and sexism and the beginning of the worst war history has ever seen. You know what, let's just call it a C-. minus. 